What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to get that nice sounding dubstep wobble bass that everybody's looking for. Because I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube that aren't very helpful. At least they weren't to me. They're, they don't really explain how to get that, that kind of automation for the dubstep wobble that makes it really come alive. You know, not just a static like what, 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 but like more of a what, 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 what. Stuff like that, you know, like really like kind of like throwing it around. Really got to take our wobble by the reins and, you know, make it our bitch. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, so here's a little, t I'm just going to show you what I've come up with. It's not uh, perfect yet, but I'll just play it for you. So you can probably hear that has a little more feeling. It's not just static waz, as I said earlier. It's, you know, it's fluctuating from, you know, 16th T notes to quarter notes. And, like, you get a wah sound that's, like, nice. It's not just static. So um, I'll show you how I did that. So first, if you go to File, Nope, Preferences and Logic. If you go to Control Surfaces and Controller Assignments. So I'm... Um, going to be assuming that you have some sort of keyboard, which you should. So, okay, what I did, I'm just going to click. So if you go here, get your new zone, and then something, something mode. So what you're going to do is you pull up the synthesizer, ES2. You should all fuck with the ES2. It's real great. So, all right, so you're going to, you got, we got our new zone. You're going to hit learn mode. So, and then... You're going to click on the parameter of the ES2 that you want your controller's knob or lever to modulate. So in this case, I want the LFO2 rate. So I'm just going to click on it. Ba-boom. As you can see, this became LFO2 rate. And then if you were to move a knob on your, for instance, Axiom uh, keyboard, which is what I have, if you move a knob, it would then become assigned to the LFO2. So if you twist that knob, it's going to be going from 30 seconds to, you know, whatever you twist it up or down to so that's that's really useful that's what i what i did initially so i'm just going to close that because i already uh, already did that but um so let me show you the automation uh z to zoom in by the way on any highlighted track it's pretty useful to know okay so i what i started with was i just had my static wobble it was like at eighth notes and then i just I took my little knob and twisted it up and down. Like, if you if you uh, go to read and you go to latch, that's gonna uh, if you move this, it's gonna pick it up. As you can see, right there, these are gonna be moving. And that's what I did to get my initial sound, and then I tweaked it further. So um, if if you if you're playing, if you if you play it and you move it up and down, it'll record. I'm not gonna do it though because that'll mess up my automation I already have <clears throat> okay so I did that like as it's playing like all right you know what here I'll just fucking show you all right boom 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 all right this got like so I'm latching so that means when I click on this while it's playing it's gonna some it's gonna record it so check check this shit YouTube As you can see that recorded that quite nicely and of course I'm gonna just undo that but so that's what I did and then I got and then I went in so once I got that like a wah, 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 I just fucking <clears throat> went in and just tweaked it around a little bit I'm gonna turn this down and uh, like oh, I was like oh if it's a little off you know I'll go in and just maybe like raise this up like let's see what happens That was pretty sweet. I mean, I'm not gonna do that, but like, you can do that. So that's that's kind of how you just tame the wobble. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Probably wasn't that helpful, but uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs>